Welcome to Oncology Podcast News. I'm your host, Ellen Baker. This week's top stories include harnessing fat to attack cancer. CHOP plus Zevalin therapy shows efficacy in elderly patients and exercise safety when using aromatherapy. Scientists at Duke University Medical Center have harnessed the much maligned fat particle to serve a higher purpose, battling human cancers. The researchers have engineered microscopic fat bubbles into smart bombs by packing them with anti-cancer drugs and dispatching them on a mission to seek and destroy cancerous tumors. Heating the tumor from the outside with microwave energy attracts the anti-cancer bombs to the tumor, the scientists said. Within 20 seconds of reaching the feverish tumor, the fat bubbles, or liposomes, melt and dump their contents, producing a virtual flood of drug that is far more potent than the slow infusion of traditional chemotherapy, a new study in rats has shown. The scientists have begun testing the new heat-sensitive liposome in women whose breast cancers have recurred in their chest wall. The scientists report the results in the January 2, 2007 issue of the Journal of the National Cancer Institute. The research was funded by the National Cancer Institute. A study undertaken by the University of Bologna, Italy, was presented at the 48th Annual Meeting of the American Society of Hematology in Orlando, Florida, demonstrated an innovative treatment regimen for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma with a treatment called Zevalin. Zevalin is a radioactive substance that is attached to an antibody. The antibody attaches to the lymphoma cells and releases the radiation that destroy the cells nearby. The treatment called radioimmunotherapy is combined with the standard chemotherapy CHOP. Zevalin may help improve the quality of responses to treatment of elderly patients suffering from the most common type of aggressive NHL. Diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Zevalin treatment was given to patients as a first-line consolidation therapy after patients had received standard chemotherapy. The study showed that four out of five elderly patients boosted the quality of their response from a partial response to a complete response when Zevalin was administered as a first-line consolidation therapy. While the CHOP chemotherapy regimen has been standard of care for NHL patients for many years, the recent advent of rituximab has meant this drug has now become an addition to standard CHOP therapy. And in other news, aromatherapy is used by many cancer patients as a soothing complement to cancer treatment, but not all patients should use it and those who do should know how to use it safely. Aromatherapy should be discussed with your doctor and cancer patients should always talk to their physicians before using aromatherapy essential oils as a complementary therapy. Some oils may be toxic when combined with common cancer treatments such as chemotherapy or radiation therapy and essential oils have chemical properties that can affect the brain and enter the bloodstream. Chemotherapy or radiation may make the skin more sensitive. So because of this, oils may irritate sensitive skin. A patch test is recommended 12 to 24 hours before use. Bergamot and citrus type oils should be avoided. Thanks for listening. For Oncology Podcasting, this is Ellen Baker.